Welcome to course 2, lesson 84 of Saxon Math. In this lesson, we're going to talk about algebraic terms. We're going to collect like terms. We're going to combine terms. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit of vocabulary. A constant term in a polynomial is a number that's not multiplying with a variable. So if, if there's no constant term in a polynomial, assuming that it is a zero, uh, the term in a polynomial that is a number, not multiplying with a variable, is the very end number here. You see this 5 right here? That's the constant term. Okay, These are terms, but they're not constants because they're, they are being multiplied by variables. A like term are terms in a polynomial that share the same variables and powers, and that's very important that you remember. Same variables and same powers. So 2x and 4x are like terms because they both have an x x, y, 2, and 2, x, y, 2, those are the same because there's x, y, 2, and x, y, 2 in both of those. And so they are, they are the same. Now, these are not the same because x is not the same as x, y, and x, y is not the same as x, y, z. Those are all different combinations of terms. They're not, they're not the same identical set of like terms. So, I know it's a, it's a little confusing. You'll you'll we're going to go through practice this a lot. You'll you'll get to where you can do it very well. A polynomial is an expression that has one or more terms. So this expression right here is a polynomial. It's got uh, three terms in it: three x squared plus thirteen x plus twelve y. A term um, that can be a lot of things. One, it can be uh, just any one of these. You know, serving as a a number, a numerator, a denominator, or any of these are a term. And also down here, this expression also has terms in it too. It has 2x as a term and 3xyz as a term also. So those are terms. We'll go over those a little bit more as we go through the lesson. All right, so let's, let's take a look at this. So what does poly mean? What does mono mean? Okay, by and tri. Uh, you should know this prior knowledge. Maybe you don't. Poly means many. Monomial is one. Binomial is two. And a trinomial is three. So if you got a, a monomial, you've got just one term. Binomial, you got two terms, and then trinomial, you have three. Poly meaning many. Okay. Um, so what type of polynomial is the term m2 plus 5n2? That's right. It'd be a binomial because it has two of them. All right. The m2, m squared, and the 5n squared. All right. So. Just like when we're um, trying to figure out doing our adding and subtracting of negative and positive numbers and multiplying, you know how we use our marks between these? We're going to do the same thing to try to, to help us combine these like terms also. Every term contains a positive or a negative number and contain one or more, can, can contain one or more variable. Sometimes a number is understood and not written. For instance, we understood the number of a squared is, is plus 1 since a squared equals 1a squared. So this we know is this also because we don't have to write the 1 in front of it to know that there can be a 1 there. So right here, this here is really not just as a negative x, but it's also negative 1x. We don't need the 1 there to tell us that it's there. We just, we just know it. Okay, so these are all terms, right? These are just plain old numbers um, or a term also in the case of negative 4. And then you, you have variables, which are the, your x's, x squared x's, and there's no variable here. All right, so uh, it's necessary for, for terms to contain, it is not necessary for a term to contain a variable, but a term that does not contain a variable, like negative 4, we know is a constant. Okay, so what we're going to try to do is um, constant terms, they can be combined also. So here where we've got, right here, we can take those and we can combine those together, right? We don't need to do them separate. We can combine them. And we can do the same thing with, with like terms that have variables. So we can combine these two here. We can take a negative 3xy squared and add to it an xy squared. If I've, if I've got minus 3xy squared and I add 1xy squared, I'm going to end up with negative 2xy squared. All right? Hopefully that makes sense. Let's let's make it a little bit sim simpler. If I have negative three and I add one, what do I get? 
I get negative 2. So we, we're just putting our, our variable here right here along with it, our terms with it. So, so like terms can be bi combined also the exact same way as they show you right down here. All right, so let's, let's, let's get some practice done, all right? So using the commutative and associated properties to collect like terms in this algebraic, algebraic expression. So let's do that. Let's combine these. So what ones are alike? Well, the x's are alike. So we've got 3x, and we have plus 1x, really, 1x, and then we have y minus y. Well, what does y minus y equal? Well, that doesn't equal anything because the, the 1 minus 1 is 0. But 3 plus 1 is 4, so it's 4x. So our answer to this is going to be 4x. Okay, simple enough? All right, it gets a little bit harder. Let's try it with this one here. Let's find out which ones are the same. Is, is 3x, can I combine 3x with x squared? I can't because x squared, x is not equal to x squared. Those aren't the same thing. x just means x. x squared means x times x. It's completely different. So let's, co just, let's combine these terms. So we got a 3x. Right, do we have okay? So we got that. Do we have any other x's? Oh, we got one right there. Minus. We got to remember the minus sign right there. We don't want to lose that. So I'm going to put these in here to help us to not get confused. Okay. Uh, take out minus x. We got that. Then we got a two x squared. That's right there. And there's another x squared plus an x squared. And then we have our four minus one. All right. So. 3x minus x. So 3x minus 1x is 2x. And 2x squared plus x squared, or 1x squared, right, is 3x squared. And 4 minus 1 is 3. Now we put them in order according to their size. This is our biggest. So 3x squared plus 2x plus 3. That should be our answer right there. And it is. Good. All right, let's try another one. So, um, Notice that x squared, as I mentioned before, the terms x are not like terms and can't be combined uh, by addition. They're not allowed to do that. There are other possible arrangements of the collected terms, such as 2x plus 3x squared plus 3. But customarily, however, we arrange terms in descending order, and that's what we did. Remember how we, we combined that? We, we brought it back. We made the 3x squared first. So when you rewrite this expression, you're going to write it 3x squared plus x plus 4. That's how you're going to write that in descending order. Okay? All right. Let's try some. All right, and remember, remember that, that these are these in mul don't get careless and confuse multiplication and addition. Okay, this this may sound like a silly thing to say, but it's the the most commonly made mistake. All right, other than just orders of operation. Okay, in multiplication, x times x is x squared. In addition, x plus x is two x. Okay, those are not the same thing. X squared does not equal two x. All right, so if you have something like x to the third plus x to the second, don't try to say that these somehow equal x to the five. They don't because they're not the same thing. x to the three and x to the second are not the same thing. They're not like terms. They're different terms. And they're, they definitely don't equal 5x. Okay, so, so let's, let's try some. All right, let's, 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 let's just combine our like terms. Let's look at this first one here. We'll do it together, okay? So we got like x to y... Is a, is a term, and there's an x2y there, and there's an x2y there. So we can combine all of those, can't we? What's 8 minus 3? That's negative 5. Negative 5x. So I'm at negative 5x2y2. And then I've got minus 1 third x2y2. So negative 5 minus 1 third right oh, they, oh we don't you don't have to solve it how easy is that all, all, all I'm gonna all I have you doing here is I've got you combining the like terms so all of them can be combined because they all have x squared. so easy enough don't even do the don't even do the math it's gonna make you come up with four and two-thirds there negative four and two-thirds x squared y squared but you don't well, let's not even go that far let's just just combine next ter terms here so our t what are the what, what are the variables we're gonna combine this next one x y squared that's right x y squared how about in this next one here? Is there anything we can b combine there? No, there's nothing that can, can be combined there. The only term is the x squared yz. On this next one down there, same thing. There's only one term there, xy. In the next one down there, we can combine the x2y2s. 
So that one would be 9 xy y2, right? And the very last one, the only term there is xy squared z. All right, okay, so 4x and 3 are not like terms. 4x and 3y, they're not like terms either. They are not the same. Think of bananas and apples, right? These are not like terms either because 4x and x squared are not the same thing. x squared and x are not the same thing. But 4x and 3x are like terms because they both have 1x. So simplify 3x plus 4x. What does that equal? Well, it equals 7x. Right? If I've got three bananas and I add four bananas, how many bananas do I have? I've got seven bananas. Okay, 7x. All right, moving along here. Let's combine this. Which of these? We've got bananas and we've got oranges. Let's make the x's our bananas. These are our bananas. Make the y's our oranges. All right? Okay, so bananas. We've got five bananas and then we've got another, five, another three bananas. And then we've got negative two oranges minus seven oranges. All right, so we've got eight bananas, eight x, and then negative two minus seven. If we're at negative two, we minus seven more. We're at negative nine minus nine y. So our answer is going to be eight x minus nine y. And there it is, eight x minus nine y. Okay, let's practice another one. Well, let's practice a whole bunch. All right, let me uh, go ahead and clear this off. All right, so what would this total? Well, let's match it. We're going to do some matching. That'll be kind of fun, okay? So 8x minus 3x, what does it equal over here on the right-hand side? Can you find it? Yeah, it right here equals 5x. Okay, 3c plus 9y minus 5c. How would we combine that? We can combine the c's together, and 3 minus 5c is negative 2c, plus 9y. There it is, negative 2c plus 9y. All right, what can, what can we combine here? We can combine our m's, right? Just the m's, not the mn's. Those aren't the same. Those are oranges. We want just these bananas over here, these four, four, negative 4m and 5m. So negative 4m plus 5m is 1m minus 7mn. So 1m minus 7m. Oh, there it is, right there. See it? It doesn't have the 1 in front of it. It just says m, which is okay because 1m and m are the same thing. See if you can go ahead and combine those final four. Stop the video and then, then do it. Okay, so you should have come up here, combined AB and AB, and end up right here, 3AB plus 5BC. This one here, you can combine this with this, and you can combine these two here. So these two here are going to be 5x squared, 7, and then we got the 2x. So this is going to go up here to this one here. And then this one here, I can combine. I can't combine any of those. Those stay exactly the same. Those can't can be combined at all. So that leaves this one here at that one there. All right, hopefully you're starting to get the idea of how to do this. All right, let's do some quick ones. 6x plus 2x is what? 8x. 6x squared minus 2x is 4x. 5x plus x is 6x. 5x minus x is 4x. Negative 4x plus 5x is 1x or x. 4x minus 5x is negative x or negative 1x. See if you can do these uh, next six together. Pause it and then start it up. All right, so like, like terms, so that's going to be negative 8x. Here we got a like term here, like term there. So that's going to be negative x. And then we combine our 6 and our 4, that's going to be positive 2. Because 6 minus 4 is 2. Here we can combine our x and a negative 4x. So negative 4x plus an x is going to be negative 3x. And negative 5 plus negative 2 is going to be negative 7. So negative 3x minus 7. Here we got 4x minus 2x. That's going to be 2x. And then we got a y plus a y. So that's plus 2y. Not y squared, but plus 2y. And then here we can combine our x's. So we have a negative 3x and a, a 3x. So that's going to be negative 5x 
and then we got 2y minus y is leaves us with y. And last of all, you should have combined all three of these terms together. So you got 4 minus 5 is negative 1, plus 1 is 0. So you got your 0. That answer is 0. Because you end up with the 4x and the 1x equals 5x minus 5x is 0. All right. Okay, let's do another one. It's often best to group terms together first and then simplify. So let's try to do that. I'm gonna, this, I know this is hard the way I do this on the screen, but I'll do my best. So I'm going to circle like terms. And I'm keeping the, 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 negative, the minus sign or the plus sign in there because it helps me. Okay, so now I've got 2x squared minus x squared. All right, I've got those. Now I have my 3x's and my x. So I have 3x plus x. And then I have negative 4 and 9. So negative 4 plus 9. All right, so this is going to equal x squared, or, or 1x squared, right? Because 2x minus 1x is x, 2x squared minus x squared is 1x squared. 3x plus x is 4x, and this is 5. So when we put them in order, we're going to have x squared plus 4x plus 5. Does that make sense? I hope so. x squared plus 4x plus 5. I love it when we do it right. All right. Pause the video. See if you can do this one. Please, please, don't just listen to this. Do it. Make sure you know how to do this. And start it back up. Okay. What you should have gotten was this. You should have gotten 6x to the third minus 14x squared plus 7x minus 6. And that was from combining your like terms. All right, let's do another one. Okay, here's some practice sets you can do. These are going to be a little bit faster. So what? What? let's go here to the top one here, x squared minus y squared. Describe these as uh, mon monomials, binomials, or what is this? Is, which one is this? Is it a, a mon monomial or a binomial or a trinomial? Yep, it's a binomial. How about this one here? Yes, trinomial. How about this one here? It's one single term, isn't it? Monomial. And this one here is a binomial. Very good. All right, now let's see if you can collect like terms and show your steps. You don't have to show your steps. Just do this. Stop your video and combine them. Okay, for F, you should have came up with 3x squared plus 2a. G, what did you get? You should have gotten 6xy minus 3x. For H, what's the answer? 3x squared plus x minus 2. Remember, you put them in descending order. And for i, you should have gotten 2 pi plus 4.2. All right, I know that's a lot. That's a ton. We'll, we'll review this in class. Trust me. Bring your questions. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Watch it again. Go back and do it again. Get all those answers right. Watch it at least twice. We'll see you tomorrow in class. Thanks.